uh, over in Iraq fighting the war, maybe this is maybe six years ago. And uh, we were in, uh, I think we were in Framingham at a, at a mobile mart there. We saw, we saw that uh, uh, piece of paint, we saw there was a newspaper there, we saw that he was killed uh, in action. And then, uh, and it was devastating. And as I'm sure you know many, some of you out there, you know, the brothers, sisters, or cousins, or friends who were killed over in the war or deeply affected by it. Um, and um, in this uh, particular case, it came out kind of like a Pat Tillman thing. It came out two years later that he wasn't killed in action. He was on a boat, he was on a ship leave in the Indian Ocean that uh, had been given malaria pills because they had some exposure, and basically the whole ship went nuts. And he ended up killing his best friend. Um, like, no one knows about this story, and it just came out a few years ago. And yeah, there's so much shit that goes on we don't know about, especially in war. It's just, it's just war is just a, such a terrible thing. And um, so I've been meaning to kind of, it, I, that story always had a huge impact on me, you know, just the secrecy of it and how, um, you know, even the way the Pat Tillman thing was, it was just like, you know, at first you hear it's like, oh, this great hero, American hero, you know, but it was friendly fire and they didn't want to, and, you know, the worst, you know, besides um, Pat leaving this earth too soon, the, the fact that they continue to lie to us, our government, and that it just really gets to me, especially when it's, it's so uh, matters of the heart like this. And so um, this goes out to Chris, who, who died in Iraq. And